you know, we've had the portal and NIL for a couple of years now, and that still seems new. But now we got this new wave of newness. 12 team playoff, a virtual brand new conference. Mm -hmm. Are you invigorated by what's going to happen and curious? And I mean, it seems like a new landscape here late in your career. Well, and it's going to change again. It's going to, I mean, as we progress toward the NFL and uh, players will have employment contracts, um, there's a whole line of things that are going to fall in place here in the next six to 12 months, probably 18 months. If she signs off on this settlement and it stays close to what it's supposed to be and then they weed through Title IX, then they're going to, uh, going to weed through roster numbers and different things and then then there'll be some guidelines and everything is new and it's kind of fascinating to me now i've kind of gotten beyond all the new stuff now it's fascinating for like it's what's new um <clears throat> the the issue as we move forward and get into players actually being employees the issue will be what do we do with the ncaa where do they stand because right now they don't they're a non-factor um, and what role will they play as we migrate toward ultimately a NFL model? Will they actually be a factor or not? That's going to be what's really interesting. That was a long answer for now. It kind of fascinates me to see what's next. Nothing surprises me anymore. Um, we're trying to stay ahead of the, the game a little bit, which is difficult to do because we don't know what the parameters are yet. But the on-field situation for this year, which mm -hmm. is all these new schools in your conference, well, half the conference was not here right. 14 and a half months ago, 12 team play, mm -hmm. triple the playoff, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Does that, does that intrigue you? Does yeah. it excite you? What does that do? Well, it does. And, it's, and the parity is what's interesting. The, we have free agency now, and, and, and players are bought, players are paid, and players can move as much as they want. And that's only going to continue to, to get um, to be, I guess, more of a factor in on the field play. But it's interesting because we don't get to play OU this year. We don't get to play Texas. People talk all the time about not having Bedlam. But see, we had gotten used to playing Texas. I mean, that was kind of routine for us. And um, so, you know, I used to look at games and say, OK, these guys are going to be really, really talented. How can we beat them? Somehow, how can we get out there and beat them? Because you only have to beat them once. And it's different now with the new teams and the, the direction things are going. It'll be interesting to see what the committee and how the committee feels about certain bubble teams and playoffs, what will push them over to get in or what will hold them back to not get in. I think that'll be intriguing.